Hey, hey, traders, Mark here. It's Thursday, December 7th. Man, this is my fourth video in a row this week. You know what? I, uh, I've really missed you guys. I've really missed, you know, sitting down in front of the markets and looking at charts and, you know, putting together some data. I, uh, you know, that's a piece that I really used to, to geek out on was just analyzing and data. You know, it's, um, I think, you know, anybody who's listened to one of my presentations on a, you know, during a, a free week knows that one of my favorite sayings is you can't improve what you don't measure. And, you know, measuring, analyzing data has been the only reason I've remained in the game. So my goal here, guys, is to continue just showing you every day what these things are doing, these zones. And um, I'm only keeping track of the ones on Thinkorswim, but I'm also going to show you the ones on the 12 range because, well, I'll tell you why when we get to the 12 range tonight. But I want you to see what what really is possible with a really low win percentage because we are all taught that you have to have a high win percentage in order to make money. It's just, it's simply not true. Okay. Let's walk through it. So um, I got to wait for the market to open, and then I need to wait for a fresh zone after the market opens. This is not a trade here. So market rips lower. I can't get in on it. I am neutral here. Well, actually, I'm red and red right now, but it um, doesn't matter because, uh, anyway, there's no trade here. Never sets up. And then now I am neutral and red so there's nothing for me to do now the one thing I could do is if I got a zone inside of this zone I could take a trade so let's see if that happens or if I had a zone inside of the 15 minutes green zone I could have been long but I want you guys to pay close attention to the way these these zones on the higher time frames play because frankly it is phenomenal to watch them you can see on the five minute here you got a nice rejection but at the same time, you had a beautiful long off the 15, and then this one hit to the tick here, and then ripped higher. So let's uh, sorry, sorry to get sidetracked. <laughs> I, I do that all the time. Anyway, so there's no trades yet. Let's keep moving. Uh, do I have nope, no zone inside the zone. Uh, let's see. This this zone is not inside the 15 minute. So still no trades. Now here's a nice, look at this trade here, guys. Remember, remember I talked about weaker highs in these zones? Well, here's a weaker high off the five-minute zone. Look at that. You had it right here. I would have been stopped out, and then it would have been a re-entry right there. Beautiful. Okay. Still no trades. Let's see, do I get a zone inside the zone here? No. Missed a bunch of good ones, huh? Okay, right now I am green and green. So let's look at this trade here. I need to be within two ticks of my zone. So this bar right here is within two ticks. So my entry is going to be at 63.03 quarter, and I get stopped out. So go, let's go ahead and keep track of these. That's a loss. And then I'd have a re-entry right here at 02.75, and I'm stopped out. So there's another loss. Okay, now I'm green and red. So there's nothing for me to do. Now, look, I'm back inside the 15-minute zone. If I have a green zone down here, I could trade, but I don't get one. Nothing to do here. Okay, right here, let's take a look at this. This looks like a trade, but it's actually not. It looks like on my 15-minute, I am green, but I'm actually neutral.
I'm neutral off of, off of this red bar right here. It doesn't it doesn't actually turn green until the close of this bar, which is at 9:30. So that is not a trade right there, unfortunately, because that would have been a great trade, but it is not one that I can take. All right, I'm green and green can still look for longs. All right, got a long, nope, never mind. I'm red on the five minute. And that's a shame because that's a great trade as well. So no trade there. Okay, now I'm green and green. I could take a trade. Let's see, what do I have? Um, 27.50 to 28, okay. So I have a trade right here for a loss. I've got, uh, let's see. This trade right here never triggers, but this one does right here. So there's another loss. Okay, now I'm neutral. And I'm inside the five minute zone. Okay, nothing to do. Okay, now I am, well, not quite red and red. It's unfortunate. Look at this. I'm red on the 15 and neutral on the 5. So you can see today was just full of missed opportunities. Okay, now here's one thing I want you to, to, to note. So right now I am red and red. Now in order for me to be able to take a trade out of this zone, because price has already been within 2 ticks, I have to at least have an equal high or higher high from where it first hit the zone. So this right here is a trade. All right, so my entry is going to be 2150. I got I need to get down to 1150. And there it is. So there's a winner. Now, watch what happens at the 15 minute gang. <clears throat> to the penny right here. And I have a weaker low pattern. So this would have been a long entry for me off of a weaker low, but I'm not I'm not counting those trades. Okay, I, I could I could short in this red zone, but it never sets up. No trades. Now I'm green and neutral. Unfortunately, no trade here. Again, another missed opportunity. And no trades in here either because uh, this, this the 15 minute does not turn green till 2:30. This is 2:29, so no trades. And that is it. So I have four losses and one win on this system. So now let's go to the the uh, 12 range. If you remember the rules on the 12 range. So if we start back here, I have a green zone. Now I can't take any shorts until I break this green zone. Or if I get a fresh green zone, then I can short if I break the fresh green zone. And that's what happens right here. All right, so now I can look for shorts. So where are we? Okay, here we go, 7.30. Market's not open yet. I can't take a trade. In order to take a trade, I need to have at least a, a high that's equal to this high. That happens right here. There's my entry. And I'm stopped out. And then I get a second entry right here. And that one hits target. Let's see. Target's going to be, what, 98 or 97.75? It's right there. So I got one loss, one win. No trade here, because I'd have to have an equal high to this bar. Okay, I do have a trade right here. So I'd be short at uh, 99.75. Stopped out, and I'd be short again right here, and stopped out. So there's two losses right there. Okay, see how they broke through this zone? Never had an entry, 
So my entry is going to be the next zone down. It's within one tick, so that's an entry. 80, 1850. So I need 3350, which I do get right here. There's a winner. Okay, then I'd be long here at 26, and that's a loss. I've got an equal low here, so I can get long again at 26. That's a loss. <clears throat> okay, so now we broke through the green zone. So now I could I could be shorting up here. Entry would be 26.50. I'd be looking for 11.50. There it is. Okay. This is not a trade because I was already in one. Now, in order to take a trade out of this zone, I have to have an equal high to here, which I get right there. And that's a loss. And then I'd be re I'd re-enter again here. And that's another loss. And the market's closed. Okay. <clears throat> so on the 12 range system, I had seven losses and three winners. So let's do the math real quick, and then we'll go to the spreadsheet. So seven losses. So 60 times 7 is 420. 300 times 3 is 900. Gross profit it was what, 480? Isn't that phenomenal, guys? I mean, seriously, think about this. That's not a great day. I took 10 trades and only had three winners. I won 30% of my trades and made $480 per contract. I mean, that's fantastic. Okay, so let's go to the spreadsheet. I need to update this now. I have four more losses, so this is going to be 38 now. And only one win, so now it's 13. And so you can see, gang, how these numbers are just adding up. Almost six weeks worth of data. And last week the market was closed two days. But regardless, 117% return. Now, again, that's based off of a $2,500 account, which is all I would need to trade one contract with this strategy. And again, if I'm trading four contracts, which is just 140 risk per contract, I'm looking at, after commissions and slippage, about $12,000. If you're trading, risking, the reason I have this in here is because I used to risk $900 in oil. It's $73,000. And gang, I'm only winning 22% of my trades. All right. Now, let's talk about the 12 range. The reason I am showing the 12 range is because with the 12 range, you can trade multiple markets. And ignore the stochastic. I was just jacking around with this, okay? And ignore the ATR. But this is oil today. Market opens at 8 o'clock. Here's your entry. Now, on oil, I'm using, you can notice I'm using a 6 range. I'm using a 5 tick stop on oil okay and I'm going for 25 on my target so it's a 5 to 1 now so on oil today if I'm in entering at 25 I get my target at 50 right there then I would have re-entered actually you know what I wouldn't never mind because I already tested this zone in order to re-enter I need to have an equal low to this which I never guess. I would have just had the one trade on oil, and then I would have had a trade here on oil for a loss. A trade. Actually, that's not an entry. I, my entry is two ticks above. That's only one tick above. So I would have had an entry right here. Nope, that market's closed. Ha! Okay, so I would have had one winner and one loser for a net of $200 a contract. 
it works great on gold. Russell. I mean, it works on the ES, gang. It works It works on if you want to day trade Forex pairs. Now, one thing I am doing is I am getting it coded on MetaTrader. And I'll show it to you eventually. It's not completely done, but I am getting it coded on MetaTrader. And eventually, gang, I'm going to have this so refined that it will just produce a signal on the chart. And it'll just, it's just going to make trading very, very, very uh, simple. Anyway, I hope you all are coming around to my way of thinking on this. I know it's it's difficult to grasp psychologically to be able to, you know to be winning under 30% or heck even under 50%. But just bear with me, gang. Follow along and have an open mind. I'm going to prove this concept to you just like I proved to myself. It took me six months to prove this concept to myself and to get my mind wrapped around this idea. All right, gang. Oh, as far as uh, the L24, no new trades today. The markets were a little wild today. I'm not sure what was going on, but they were pretty wild. So um, everything just blew past any, any entries. All right, I'll talk to you soon.